Hey everyone, it has been almost a year since I've been able to do one of my favorite kinds of videos where I get ideas from you and share them with everybody. Recently, we were able to attend UCAMP 21 and we got a bunch of great mod ideas for your tag or tab. So to make it up to you, I've got 33 ideas in this video. Yes, I could have split it up into multiple videos, but I didn't. So in less than 15 minutes, here are 33 ideas. At the end, you can check out some links in the description below to some of the items if you're interested in seeing more. So here's a good tip for if you have a tab 320, um, we've just bought these box, these baskets at a big brand store and cut off the back with just a pair of scissors so that it fits in where the ceiling slopes. And it fits just like that. Well, my favorite mod of all the ones that I've done is the one I did the very first time I brought it home from my uh, purchase. And that's my bottle opener. I put it on within minutes of purchasing Voila! So one of my favorite mods is uh, this piece of uh, stick-on backsplash. Um, I have not exactly poked a hole here, but sometimes things shift and as I go to close the clamshell, I have dented uh, the top of the camper here and I was just looking for a way to cover that. So rather than trying to figure out a way to put a sticker over it, um, I just took some of this uh, uh, backsplash that you buy, you can buy at Home Depot, and they uh, they just go together. And so I'm, it looks like it belongs. Hopefully that's what I was going for, but I'm really covering up dents behind it. My favorite mod is under cabinets that I made. So I always thought that there was no space underneath that shelf that's there. So I removed that, and I ordered doors from New Camp. And I made the frame, screwed it on. I also took this plastic that's for greenhouses and stuffed that down in there to where I can still get venting up for my heat so it comes up through. And um, it's just a cleaner look. And now I have a lot more storage rather than that small little space that you couldn't get in before. I know everybody has done the uh, twin bed mod, but uh, I wanted something that didn't leave any legs down below. And so what I did is came up with a piece of angle metal and it just slips in here and basically slips into this crevice here and uh, is real strong and makes it really easy. So the mod that I wanted to really show everybody today was our headboard extension for taller folks like me. I'm six foot, trying to fit into a 320. And something's always falling off the bed. So between my wife Robin and I, we came up with this great design where we can just pivot up a headboard. We use an outdoor uh, gate latch to hold the headboard in place. And then we had a, uh, a cushion made of the same material as our seats. Just put it into place and then we just pull our memory foam right over the top and voila, a great place to lay my head. And you see in here, got tons of room towards the back. Well, the one thing we like to do is we had a very difficult time in uh, changing from day to night with the, the, the slats on the bed. We just had a hard time getting them in. So we eliminated the straps by just making a new set of slats and just putting them in position here with pins. That way they stay here and they stay like that. That way it's much easier to, to move them from here to here without having to deal with the straps because that was very difficult to do. And then when we're done, we just take them and we just put them right back up here. And we try to make them match the best we could. One of our most recent additions has been this set of three cabinet doors above the shelf. The climb shelf normally just has a piece of wood that extends up there and there's a small shelf there. So we made this shelf deeper and put doors on the front and we now have roughly twice as much storage as we used to before. 
And we've also added just a couple sockets so we can hang clothes or your wet towels when you're driving down the road. You at least have a place for things to dry. And this is just a standard Lowe's painter's pole. And the most, most recent is our magazine rack trash can. So the trash can comes out. And this will hold the, the top down and hold the can in place and it's got magnets. So we have a clamshell with a two-way fridge. The two-way fridge normally sucks cold air in on one side and blows hot air out the other. Unfortunately, when the clamshell is closed, all that hot air is just right around the refrigerator and it's not efficient. So what this fix did, mod did, is, is it takes the hot air as it blows out the front of the refrigerator and blows it out a new grate on the, on the side. We have a 2015. We wanted to upgrade it. We're more modern. We found different colors that we like to go with the outside red. Uh, this is a sticker vinyl wallpaper. We put it on the inside of the door to bring the red in. We put it on the face of all the cabinets. We also vinyl the walls and the ceiling to make it more modern. We put new speakers in and new lights that also have a feature of a red light for evening so you don't light blind yourself. We also didn't like the, the wood flooring so we changed the floor to something a little bit more modern to match. I made a pattern out of newspapers and then cut it out and placed it in. And I also only glued half the floor so that we can change it if it ever goes bad. The exterior hardware was originally white. Ours had been faded and turned yellow, so we decided to take them all off and paint them gray to match the inside and update everything. And then the handle, I weaved some paracord on the handle, just making it a little more comfortable to grab. A total mod this year, I went with the corrugated steel backsplash, sides, Redid my counter. I took out my stove and sink because in four years I've never used it. Um, in my cupboards, I put, I have my drawer, I redid. And then I made shelves out of the wire um, cube pieces. And this one, I can lift it up. This one I can also lift up. I have things stored underneath there. And pretty much that's the back. So one of my quick mods that I came up with is Every time you open and shut the door, when you're inside, it's always hard to grab the handle. I thought of an idea of just taking the screw out and getting a hook and screw it in. This way you didn't have to do anything. And then when you're inside, all you do is pull on it. And it makes it nice and easy. All right, I came up with this idea. A lot of people you see, they drill holes and they put like a little latch thing so that this door can stay up. I came up, instead of putting tape or anything and marking up the side of the trailer, I came up with this thing with a suction cup with a little hook. Just go like this, go like this, and then that little hook just stays like that. Because the stock lighting in our camper was so inadequate, we decided to add some warm white strip lights that we got from Amazon. We put them under the headboard and on each side under the valances. And being able to tap into the electricity was not too difficult at all uh, because the 12 volts run in some uh, convenient channels. And we can dim these at night for high bright low brightness and that. Kathy made up some shades for uh, use at night. We have rare earth that magnets mounted to the frame and three quarter inch uh, washers mounted inside the shade and they just flip right up. And at night you can have air coming in but privacy from your 40 foot uh, RV next door. We needed an AC cover to keep bugs out and stuff, so I made this one out of wood. It's held on with magnets. Um, a friend of mine made the, the flag, so that just stays on. Everybody's happy there. And you can leave it on while traveling. It holds good and strong. And when you're traveling, you know, everything needs to be in a spot or it's in your way. So we came up with a uh, paper towel, extended storage over the windows, 
a little tissue box here, which, you know, is handy. It's, it's always in your way. So now you have this tissue box, place for your remote controls. And uh, then over here we have a mirror. Got to have a mirror. Hold your toothbrushes and such. Little shelves in the kitchen here to hold all your utensils and spices. And, and then we have this rack here for our silverware. This kept me out of trouble for a month. Uh, we have these, they're actually marine lights. They're hooked to the 12 volt system. Uh, we simply took the housing off of the lights, the original lights that were up there and took those brackets down. And when you touch this, this is the night light mode and it turns blue. At night, in the middle of the night, it, it lights the whole area. It doesn't appear to in the middle of the day. And then if you touch it again, you get a spotlight. Uh, and then if you put your hand on it again, you can actually dim that until it goes off. Um, and then we have lights in the cabinets and in the bathroom that are motion sensitive. So when you open the door, the light comes on and you can see what's in your cupboard. Kathy and I put in a chandelier in our dining area in the tab 400. We put a switch in to control the lights. It's 12 volt and it only uses three watts of power because it's LED and it's dimmable. So we've drank a few wine, had a few wine glasses of alcohol here and really enjoyed our chandelier. One of my favorite mods on our Tab 400 is uh, we added this toolbox to the front of it. In the toolbox, I made a, a put a soffit grill on, in the back for venting for the propane. So it vents out and keeps everything safe. One of my favorite mods, or one of our favorite mods, is our bed and table mod. Um, we got tired of making the bed twice a day, unmaking it morning and night, and bumping our heads on the back when we were sleeping north to south. We didn't want a twin bed set up, so we extended the bed out into a full size. My husband cut a piece of wood that fits right in between the um, places for the bed slats and locks into place. I put a upholstery foam on it and covered it to match the covers I did here. Then we added a leg for another lagoon table and the table just slides out over the bed if I want to do something in bed or it comes over here in between the two seats if we want to sit inside and eat. Okay, my version of the uh passenger side bench heating box modification space age insulation from lowe's or any hardware store a staple gun just wrap it down around the edges of the box when you seal that end it makes all the heat go into the room where the thermostat is which reduces your consumption of gas so we had a, an issue with really using too much water with the toilet when we would flush and the power, the pressure could be so strong even though we've got a regulator it would actually almost flow out of the bowl. We added a valve that's a shower valve. It's actually used to pour a shower up on the shower head. It fits, fits the valve perfectly so we can adjust it down or up as we need to. If we're boondocking we turn it way down so that we don't fill the tank too quickly with the water. My favorite mod are the slip covers that I made out of quilts and I did it because these are not real pretty and I wanted my camper to be pretty. I just mattered the corners and they slip on and off. I can take them off and wash them and I can make another set when I find a new pattern. Wow, that was a lot of great ideas and man, did we miss seeing everybody. And again, if you're interested in any of the ideas, click on the links below as it really helps us out. So here's to more great mods for 2021. Love and light. Ready?